Welcome back. Quincy is offering Grant County Fire District 3 a five-year, $2.5 million contract to provide fire protection for the city. The city's negotiating committee sent the proposal to the district in a letter. It details five guidelines for a potential agreement. It would be a five-year contract starting on January 1, 2016. The city would pay the district $485,000 for the first year and increase the amount by $10,000 per year. Quincy would budget $10,000 for, for equipment each year and the city would own the equipment. The city would build a fire station north of the railroad tracks for the fire district's use. And the city would buy a new pumper truck. Grant County Fire District 3 Fire Chief Don Fortier said the district received the letter and the commissioners are reviewing it. A Quincy man is serving two months in jail for fleeing from police after a sink fell from a trailer and hit another car. Joe Yancey, a 46-year-old Quincy man, pleaded guilty to attempting to elude a pursuing police vehicle and possession of stolen property. He faced up to 90 days in jail under state sentencing laws, and Judge John Antos sentenced Yancey to two months in jail. Yancey was pulling a stolen trailer with a white Ford Bronco on State Route 17 in late June when a sink fell off the trailer and hit a vehicle behind it. The victim contacted police. A deputy found Yancey north of Moses Lake and chased him at speeds of 80 miles per hour. He turned onto McConaughey Road and drove into an orchard at the intersection with Road D.5 Northeast. Moses Lake Police found Yancey in Connolly Park. In Northwest news, lightning has ignited 51 new wildfires in Oregon and storms are forecast to continue through Wednesday. The Northwest Interagency Coordination Center in Portland reports those new fires are burning across 11 square miles. The two biggest are grass fires in eastern Oregon's Gilliam County. Spokeswoman Carol Connolly says the Northwest remains the nation's top wildfire priority, but some crews and equipment fighting Oregon's 11 existing large fires are being sent to the new fires. More lightning is expected Tuesday and Wednesday. As the current storm system moves northwest and out of Oregon, another wetter system will enter in southwestern Oregon and move across the Cascades and into central and northeastern Oregon. Deputies are searching for a suspect in the deaths of three people at a commercial farm. The bodies were found Saturday in Benton County. Reporter Gina Lazara has the story. So many questions remain unanswered after three bodies were found early Saturday morning on Easter Day farms in rural Benton County. A farm worker came across uh, three or two bodies and uh, deputies arrived soon after that and discovered a third body. We now know the names and ages of the three people that were killed. 19-year-old Victoria Torres, 23-year-old Abigail Torres, and 23-year-old David Perez Saucedo. There is no relation between the two female victims. The investigations uh, going uh, gangbusters right now. It's, uh, uh, it's by no means stagnant. We have uh, lots of information and leads that we're working. The commercial farm is located a couple miles southeast of this intersection at 9 Canyon Road and Coffin Road. Lieutenant Jones confirmed this is a triple homicide and they are looking for at least one suspect. There's uh, at least one or more uh, people out there that have committed a murder and they're you know, actively being pursued by law enforcement. They're obviously a threat to law enforcement as we try to apprehend them. The public in general should not be concerned. Benton County sheriffs are unable to say right now if this crime is gang or drug related. They are trying to remain tight-lipped throughout the investigation for the sake of catching the ones responsible. The complexity of the investigation uh, is causing us to withhold uh, most of the information that can be released to the public because we don't want to taint the, taint the investigation. We want to uh, solve this for the victims and their families and their friends. Hours and hours of overtime are being put in by local law enforcement as well as the state crime lab to solve this complex crime as quickly and efficiently as possible. In Benton County, Gina Lazara, Action News. And that's going to do it for us here at I-501 News. We want to thank you for watching and we'll see you again tomorrow.